Hmm. Oh, it's you. For a second, I thought Mama found out about us meeting here in the library. You were in follow, right? Good. I'm sorry that you couldn't join the discussion between Norman, Emma, and I. We can't risk raising a, a lot of suspicion by all of us being here in the library together this late at night. Don't worry, I'll summarize what we went through. Essentially, we'll need to gather a lot of resources if we all plan to escape before the next shipment. Which is around 4 weeks or so from now based on what or when the last preview shipment was sent. I made a list of what everyone should bring. I'm in charge of asking mama to give you some spare technology parts to cancel out the signal from our trackers. Emma will be in charge of getting as much rope as she can, while Norman will plan the best route of escape. And as for you, you'll be in charge of training the little ones to be able to zipline without any issue. We need to get a head start so that when the time comes, they'll be ready. Do you understand? What's wrong? Is something the matter? The plan? What about it? It makes sense and it's the best escape method we can come up with given the little time we have and resources. Is not that? Then what is it? You'll tell me tomorrow instead. Alright. I'll be outside while everyone else will be playing tag with Norman and Emma. Good night to you too. Oh, you finally made it. You seem quite tired. I assume you played a round of dog before you came here. Hmm? Oh, I've just been reading this entire time. Plus I can let mama figure out that we're plotting something. If we're constantly together. Right now, everything seems to be unclear. So, what is it you wanted to tell me? Go on. Y you can trust me. I'm sure whatever it is, it isn't so bad. Uh-huh. The next shipment should be in around four weeks or so from now. What about it? What? 
someone's getting shipped today? Why didn't you tell us sooner? Who is it? You? No. It can't be. Norman! Emma! Wait, what's wrong? Inside, now! Huh? Why? There's no time, just go! You two, we're going to figure out something. Ray, can you tell us what's wrong already? Yeah, and why are you both tearing up? Th they're getting shipped today. What? what? You must be joking. No one is supposed to be shipped until four weeks from now. Don't tell me Mama already figured us out already from the start. There's no way she could. We've been laying low over the last couple of weeks. Damn it. That's it. We're escaping today. Ray, no, Norman. I'm tired of sitting here and letting everyone be led to their deaths. This is a death I won't allow. I understand what you're going through right now. But we can't possibly... Yes, we can. Gather everyone to the... Do you even hear yourself, Ray? You know we can't escape today. When we haven't even gathered the resources needed to escape. So you're saying we should let them die? You know, she doesn't mean... Fine. If you guys won't be of any help, then I'll figure something out. Ray, that's enough. You know very well that this is inevitable. It doesn't hurt to try something. Are you guys really giving up on them that easily? We're not. But ask yourself this. What can we really do? Exactly. So we have to let them go. How? You make it sound so easy when it's not. Emma, Norman, could you leave the both of us alone for a moment? Of course. Let's go, Emma. You have the right to feel hurt more than everyone else. So my pain doesn't even begin to compare to yours. There's still got to be a way. I don't care. I'll even offer myself to be shipped out, not you. Anyone but you. I refuse to let you be shipped because I love you. It's already too late for me to say it, but I do. To think that I won't be able to see you again because of me really hurts. It is because of me. I knew that we were being used as livestock, but I didn't bother to do anything about it. How do you expect me to move on from you? You're saying it as if... As if your life had no meaning at all. Well, you're wrong. Your life does have meaning. Without you, I... I wouldn't have agreed to save everyone in the orphanage. It's because of you that I risk my life to ensure that that you would be free. <sighs> you can think what you want. You were never a nuisance to me or anyone. Out of everyone in this orphanage, you are the best deserving of being... Sure. 
Wait, it's dinner time. Mama said that after dinner, job is here. Oh, let's get going then. Ray, are you not going to say goodbye to them? They're about to leave. I don't think I could control myself if I were to see them right now. I know it's hard, but... Oh. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be on your way? Right now? Oh, you want to talk to Ray alone? Okay. Just don't take too long or Mama will come here to get you. No. I'm sorry, but I can't look at you. I uh, really miss you so much. To think that I had a future plan for the both of us. A future that where we wouldn't have to worry about that and actually grow old together. Perhaps that might have been selfish on my part, but can you really blame me though? I hope that we could be together forever and get married and start a family. Doesn't that sound great to you? Please, don't cry. I don't want this side to be the last thing I'll ever see of you. It's okay. I'm here. I'll never forget about you. I'll forever have you in my heart. Make me meet again in another life. Okay? I love you. I forever have and always will. I vow to never fall in love with anyone else. Only you have won my heart. Take care.